Hey guys, it's me Mint and I finally decided to do another video, finally. Anyway, so the other day I was on my phone and I decided to go on DeviantArt, follow me on DeviantArt by the way, and I was looking through my gallery just trying to find something to do and I realized I found these really old pictures that I drew a long time ago. And as soon as I saw these pictures, I was like, oh my god. What was I thinking? Listen, listen, I thought I was a good artist. I mean, like a really good artist, but I was not. But I just wasn't good at all. And I just thought I was. But I realized that my art has improved so much since then. And that, honestly, I know there are people out there who are trying to improve their art just like I did, but even faster. But anyways, what I'm trying to get to here is that we all have those artists that inspire us so much every day. And we want to improve our art as fast as we can. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And it's going to be super easy and super quick. I promise you guys will enjoy it. Please give it a like. And I'm going to show you guys how to make your art look like this. Turn in to this. So the first way I figured out how to improve my art was to experiment with different types of brushes. So when you experiment with different types of brushes, this pretty much opens up your mind to different types of ways you could experiment or make your art even better. And this makes your art a lot more unique, which improves your art quicker than it does if you stick with your regular tools that you usually use. You need to get out of your comfort zone if you want to improve. This is pretty much like the basic thing and it's pretty obvious, but I think if you want to draw backgrounds or if you're working more on realism, it's really important that you use different types of brushes to see what types of brushes can work better for you if you have never tried them before. Like in this picture I do right here, I was drawing in a uh, kind of like a background, like more uh, cinematic kind of drawing, and I decided that if I could use more brushes in the background, that would really like help improve me and help uh, open up my creative mind process and how I can make and interpret new uh, cinematic drawings. So here's this drawing I drew like a long time ago. It's probably the speed drawing is probably still on YouTube, but pretty much this process is pretty much what's going to make your art improve the fastest and the quickest, and it's the most crucial to improving your art. When you take old art, really old art, and you improve it, this helps um, find new ways to, to make your art different than it actually was before. And it actually helps bring out the more creative side of you because you see all the faults that you did before. It also, also raises your self-esteem quite a bit. Um, it makes me super happy when I see my new art compared to my old art because I, I think about how far I've come and like how different I, like my art looks. So as you can see, experimenting with new brushes really helped me have a new look and a really new refreshed uh, design to any of my drawings, especially this one. And the clothes and the hair, using new brushes really helped me um, improve my art and make it look a lot better than my old art did. So all I gotta say is that experimenting is everything. So the next drawing I did was a little more... Uh, is a little bit younger than the one, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but it's not as old as the old drawing that I did before. But yeah, this is actually a really old OC, in fact, probably my first OC ever, like actually in the, ever. Um, and I still even draw her to this day, like if you go on my Instagram or my DeviantArt, you probably still see a uh, fan art I did of her, or fan art, she's my own character. <laughs> but pretty much what I did, I used the new brushes and the new skills that I learned from my, pre my previous things, and I actually used this to improve my art really good. So obviously those last few draws were a lot more drastic because the art was a lot older than the uh, current drawing style that I was using. But now we're going to use recent art and try to improve that. This is a lot more difficult than it seems, and because of that, it makes your brain, or your brain tries to find new ways to make your art a lot better than it actually was. In my case, I wanted to use um, better colors, maybe better line art skills, and maybe even find better ways to make my art look a lot better, especially in the face, especially in maybe little tiny details like the food I didn't do so well on. Because of that, it actually was practice for me to make my art even better than it was. So pretty much, your homework today is to redraw a simple, drawing you did in the past and try to improve it as best as you can. This is the best way to improve your art as quick as possible. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. If you liked this video, please support me and give me a like, maybe leave a little comment, and hey, why not just subscribe? But yeah guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.